O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Praise we the woman who endued with high heroic fortitude, as one renowned that shall not die, a place among the saints on high. Such holy love inflamed her breast, she would not seek on earth a rest, but strong in faith and patience trod, the narrow path that leads to God, restraining every froward sense by gentle bonds of abstinence. With prayer a hungry soul she fed, and thus to heavenly joys hath sped. O Christ, the strength of all the strong, to whom alone high deeds belong, through her prevailing prayer on high, in mercy hear thy people's cry. All praise to God the Father be, all praise eternal Son to thee, whom with the Spirit we adore, forever and forevermore. The man with clean hands and pure heart will climb the mountain of the Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. He shall climb the mountain of the Lord. He shall stand in his holy place. The man with clean hands and pure heart. It is us, not worthless things. Was not sworn to us to deceive his neighbour. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant. The Lord, the valiant in war. O gaze, lift high your heads. Grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Give praise to the Father Almighty. To his Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The man with clean hands and pure heart will climb the mountain of the Lord. Praise the King of the ages in all your deeds. Blessed is God who lives forever and blessed is his kingdom. For he afflicts and he shows mercy. 
he leads down to Hades and brings up again, and there is no one who can escape his hand. Acknowledge him before the nations, O sons of Israel, for he has scattered us among them. Make his greatness known there, and exalt him in the presence of all the living, because he is our Lord and God. He is our Father forever. He will afflict us for our iniquities, and again he will show mercy. But see what he will do with you. Give thanks to him with your full voice. Praise the Lord of righteousness, and exalt the King of the ages. I give him thanks in the land of my captivity, and I show his power and majesty to a nation of sinners. Turn back, you sinners, and do right before him. Who knows if he will accept you, and have mercy on you. I exalt my God. My soul exalts the King of heaven, and will rejoice in his majesty. Let all men speak, and give him thanks in Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the King of the ages in all your deeds. Praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Create your joy to the Lord, are you just? For praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the lyre, with a ten string harp, sing him songs. Oh, sing him a song that is new. Play loudly with all your skill, for the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves with the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations, he defeats the plans of the peoples. His own design shall stand forever. The plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth. He sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope of safety is the horse, despite its power it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. 
to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Amen. Praise is fitting for loyal hearts. My brothers, I implore you by God's mercy to offer your very souls to him, a living sacrifice, de dedicated and fit for his acceptance, the worship offered by mind and heart. Adapt your souls no longer to the pattern of this present world, but let your minds be remade and your whole nature thus transformed. Then you will be able to discern the will of God and to know what is good, acceptable, and perfect. God is a help, she will not be moved. God is a help, she will not be moved. The Lord is with her. God is a help, she will not be moved. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God is a hell, she will not be moved. If there is lo love among you, then all will know that you are my disciples. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would free us from our foes from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us that we from fear, and save from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you should be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. If there is love among you, then all will know that you are my disciples. With all the holy women, let us praise our Saviour and call on him in prayer. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you said of the woman who was a sinner, her many sins are forgiven because she has loved much. Grant us your forgiveness for our many sins. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, women ministered to your needs on your saving journeys. Open our eyes to see you 
in those who need our help. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord and Master, Mary listened to your teaching, and Martha did the serving. May our faith grow ever deeper, and our love go out to others. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you called those who do God's will, your brother and sister and mother. Teach us to live as members of your family. Come, Lord Jesus. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Father of peace and love, you endowed Saint Elizabeth of Portugal with the gift of reconciling enemies. Through her intercession, Give us grace to work for peace, and so deserve to be called children of God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us, and keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.